The fuel line moves fuel from the gas tank to the engine. If your fuel line is cracked or damaged, fuel won't flow to the carburetor and the snowblower may not start. You can replace the fuel line using the steps in this video. Before you begin, siphon out the gas or run the snowblower until the tank is empty. Allow the engine to cool. Position the snowblower in a well-ventilated area. Wear work gloves to protect your hands. Pull the spark plug wire off the plug. Remove the mounting screws and pull the starter switch off the bracket. Let the starter switch hang by the electrical cord. Remove the key. Pull off the choke and throttle knobs. Remove the acorn nuts that secure the carburetor to the engine. Remove the muffler shroud mounting screws. Work the engine shroud off the carburetor mounting studs, leaving the primer hose and breather hose connected. Release the fuel line clamp and pull the fuel line off the fuel filter. Repeat the process to release the other end and remove the fuel line. Connect the new fuel line on the tank and secure it with a fuel line clamp. Repeat the process to connect the other end. Pull off the muffler shroud before reinstalling the engine shroud. Remove the mounting bolts and pull off the belt cover. Remove the bolts from the red chute support bracket and pull the support bracket forward, releasing the control rod from the four-way control rod receiver. Remove the front muffler shroud mounting bolts. Release the wire control cables from the retainer clip and pull off the muffler shroud. Work the engine shroud into the engine. Reinstall the two acorn nuts to secure the engine shroud to the engine. Slide the wire control cables into the retainer clip and position the muffler shroud on the engine. Reinstall the muffler shroud mounting bolts. Push the control rod back into the four-way control rod receiver and line up the support bracket with the mounting holes. Reinstall the bolts in the red chute support bracket. Reinstall the belt cover using the mounting bolts. Reinstall the throttle and choke knobs. Position the electric starter switch on the switch bracket and reinstall the mounting screws. Reconnect the spark plug wire to the spark plug. Push the key into the slot.